Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So if you've followed me for a while, you'll know that this Cinderella live action doll is my favorite live action doll. Um, so much so that a while back, when I say a while back, I mean like over a year plus ago, I got myself another one. And what's the best thing to do when you have two of something that's amazing? Well, the best thing to do is, is to debox one, obviously. So today, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go ahead, we're gonna take a look at this beautiful doll out of the box in 360. I'm so glad to finally uh, have done this. I've been wanting to do it for months, so stay tuned, because that's exactly what we're gonna do. Okay, so as you can see, this doll's dress is massive once you do take her out of the box. I had seen many, 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 many photos and videos of people who had taken her out and I was just amazed at how much of that dress was just squashed into the box. So I'm very happy to now be able to take her out and uh, enjoy uh, her in all of her glory. And she is quite glorious, let me say. She just, she does not disappoint. Uh, but what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna take some close up looks at her. So let's kind of scoot in here a little bit. I'm gonna scoot up a little bit. And then we're just gonna go ahead and bring Cinderella here in a little closer. So of course we have the beautiful Lily James. The face mold isn't terrible with her. Her, I'm it's not the greatest either a lot of people say she looks kind of like a one of my friends said that her husband thinks she looks like Brie Larson ah, maybe <laughs> that is pretty funny though but a beautiful face mold but now we can finally see her long curly locks here in the back and she does have these little hair clips of the gems even in the back of her hair which I do like that they did include those there on the back um, they are kind of a silver pasty look. I wish they were a little bit more clear, kind of like the uh, ones on the Saks Snow White doll. That one has beautiful gem work. Um, but uh, yeah, hey, it is what it is. But she does have some gorgeous, gorgeous hair. I may someday, possibly, I don't know, uh, wash it and then see how this all dries. Because right now it's all these really awful ringlets, which in the box look fantastic. <laughs> Not so much when you unbox her, but that's okay. I can overlook it. Um, now we can kind of get a full 360 view of her dress too. So you can see here, we have more little plastic butterflies here in the back um, that go all the way around the top. I love that they included those on the dress. Um, it is a really nice touch. This one only has one thing holding him in there. So I may have my wife go in there and kind of stitch that up to give it a little bit more security uh, there because it is literally really, really loose, you can see. Um, but the top is of course separate from the skirt and it is just a Velcro enclosure. So nice and simple there. Of course, we have a great range of motion um, with all these points of articulation on Cinderella herself. So, and she does have, wow, she kind of looks a little funny like that, doesn't she? <laughs> no comment. Um, she does have that pearlescent oily skin that a lot of people hate, but hey, uh, it works on her because I look at it as this was kind of like when the fairy godmother um, said, don't worry, no one will recognize you. It's like the spell that she put on Cinderella that you wouldn't be able to recognize her then. So that's how I look at it. But coming down, you can see we have this full, 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 skirt and it is scattered all the way even in the back with gems so I love that they didn't scrimp on this one that they did go all the way around because I know on other dolls they've actually gone to where they only do part of the dress and not the whole dress and this one they did do the absolute whole dress um, unfortunately the one thing they did do that I don't like is the layers that they do have and there are four layers so there's the top layer the second layer a nice dark blue layer and then a satin layer they sewed them all together here in one um here on the back i don't know wish they hadn't done that but oh well i mean worse things have happened in life so i'm not too too worried about it you can still pull the skirt out a little bit to make it nice and full there and then of course there is a layer of crinoline underneath and then of course now we can see both of her shoes on her feet so let me kind of get some light in on that there you can see both shoes gorgeous kind of a iridescent look to those as well um but yes i just oh this doll is amazing um she is not super popular by i guess all doll collector standards a lot of people don't like her they don't like the live action faces they don't like you know face i don't know it's it's fine um there are i believe let's see 4,000 ever to go around. So I guess if you do like her, ample opportunity to get her. If you don't like her, <laughs> again, no worries. Um, there's something for everybody. The one thing that I'm still, I, hmm, I know that I'm trying to find the most recent doll. Yeah, I guess they all do kind of have some. So well, I guess Snow White and Jasmine don't. Those two don't. Um, and neither does Tinkerbell. The side eye, like that, um, it's an old thing that Disney did. 
move back a little bit here. So it is kind of like, I feel like I keep having to turn her so that she's looking, <laughs> looking at me or looking at the, what I don't know, it's just kind of odd. That I'm still trying to get used to. When you turn her completely like this, like she is in the box, you know, then it's like, oh, okay, that makes sense. But I'm not going to complain. She's beautiful. And she is my favorite live action. Um, right up next to the um, wedding one that's of her, actually. That is my second favorite live action doll that I own. So just a gorgeous, gorgeous doll. And so glad to finally have one out. Um, once I figure out how I'm going to display my room, of course, she'll go in the lineup of my deboxed 17-inch dolls. Um, until then, she's just kind of sitting on this table <laughs> while I enjoy her. Uh, but yes, absolutely stunning. So if you guys have her and you've debated whether or not you want to get her out, hopefully this helped um, with that in that way that you can kind of decide, yes, I want her out or nope, that's a lot of dress that needs to stay in because I don't have room. Uh, but it is truly, truly a beautiful, beautiful doll. And the gown is absolutely stunning. Now, having said that, there is an Instagrammer out there. It's Erica Designs. She has made this dress um, on her own and it makes this dress look cheap <laughs> her version of it is absolutely stunning um, I'll see if I can't put a uh, picture in here of her design on it and of course make sure you check out her page um, it, oh my gosh her designs are flawless and the execution of it is just absolutely spectacular I cannot get over how well um, and how intricate and accurate her her dresses are um, especially from this movie alone, because like her Lady Tremaine dress, oh, it's just, <laughs> it's perfection. <laughs> it's absolutely perfection. And I know she's worked on many other Disney dolls, uh, live action and animated. I know Frozen, she's done a lot for Frozen as well. So, but anyhow, yes, for me, and at this point, this dress will do. It's beautiful. The Cinderella doll is amazing. And I hope you guys enjoyed all right, guys. Well, thank you for joining me on my unboxing review or unboxed review, I guess, of this beautiful doll. I hope everybody enjoyed. Hope everybody's having an extra magical day. Don't forget to hit the subscription button as well as the notification bell. That way, you know, my videos do come out. Make sure you leave any questions and comments uh, down below and we will see you real soon.